Hello everyone and welcome to Recap V. Today we'll be talking about an anime called Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Gijakutami. The manga, which was originally titled Tokyo Metropolitan Curse Technical School, was serialized in Shuisha's magazine Jump Giga from April to July 2017. After Akutami launched Jujutsu Kaisen in 2018, the series was retroactively retitled Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, making it a prequel, and released in a single Tankabon volume in December 2018. The movie was released in Japan in December 2021 and in United States in March 2022 and in other regions throughout the year. Watch out for spoilers and let us begin. The movie starts off with the main character Yuta Okatsu being bullied. But he gets saved by a curse called Rika, which kills the bullies. We then see that he was captured by the Jujutsu sorcerers, who wanted to execute him, and so they had called Gojo Satoru to do so. But he disobeys the orders by the higher ups, and tells them he is taking the boy to Jujutsu High School, a school where people are sent to become Jujutsu sorcerers. The next day Gojo introduces the boy to his classmates, who start attacking him after seeing that he is cursed, because it seems like their lovely teacher hadn't told them a thing beforehand. He then introduces the team consisting of Maki, who uses special tools to exercise curses, Inu Maki Toj, who uses cursed speech, and can't really do direct speeches since it activates the curse, and Panda. Maki and Yuta are paired up, and sent to a school where some kids were captured by some curses. Their Gojo creates a barrier, and then leaves them to fight alone. As soon as he leaves some curses appear. Maki manages to exercise them with one move, and then explains that the weaker they are, the more they group together. In the corridors of the school, she is surprised why none of the curses are attacking them, and suspecting Yuto to be the reason she asks what rank he is. He doesn't know so she asks for his ID, and when she sees it she is surprised to find out that he is a special grade, which means higher than grade 1. Behind her, a giant curse appears, it starts attacking them and manages to eat them. Maki sadly dropped her tool so she can't fight against it anymore. In its stomach, they manage to find the kids, who were affected by the curse. Maki gets affected as well and falls. He doesn't know what to do, and Maki manages to convince him to use Rika, who loses control killing the curse that ate them, while Yuta carries the others out. At the hospital, we see Yuta with Gojo who congrats him on managing to call Rika. Then we see Yuta's past with him and Rika, as she proposed to him when they were kids, promising to get married when they grow up. Then we are sent to the school where we see someone taking Yuta's ID card. Gojo is then being judged by the higher-ups for letting Rika go out of control. He manages to shut them up, by saying that we know nothing about this curse, and have no idea as to how a girl with no family lines to jujitsu sorcerers managed to release such a powerful curse. As he is leaving they threaten him to execute Yuta, but he tells them that if it comes to that, he'll side with the boy. Gojo then takes Yuta to a warehouse where they keep Kerr's weapons and gives him a katana on which he can input Rika's powers. Three months later we see him training with Maki. He had learned how to use a sword, but still has quite a lot to go, as Maki manages to beat him, time after time. Toga is then requested to go on a mission, and we figure out that he is a grade 2 sorcerer, powerful enough to go on missions alone but Gojo tells Yoda to go with him and see his powers. He then tells them that he won't have the time to be there, and says that the mission shouldn't be so hard. And also tells him to not let Rika out, or they'll both die. They are sent there by Kiyotaka Ajichi, who explains what is going on, while Toga goes to buy a throat medicine. There they find hundreds of weak curses that had grouped together. Toga takes off his scarf and then says explode and all the curses start to explode. But after this, we see that his throat got damaged as well. They try to leave but the veil wasn't lifted, and as they're questioning why, a curse appears behind them. It starts attacking, along with Toga who manages to twist its hand by saying the word twist, but his throat starts to hurt too much as he is unable to move while the curse starts attacking. 
Thankfully though, Yoda grabs him and runs away to hide, but sadly Toga's medicine falls off him. Toga wants to go and fight alone, but Yoda doesn't accept that and insisted he goes as well. Then we see Yoda facing the curse. He inputs some of his curse energy into his katana, and starts fighting the curse. He manages to grab Kiyotaka's medicine, and throw it at him. Which he uses to heal his throat, and then says the word crush, to exercise the curse. When they try to leave we see that the barrier is still up. And then we also see a guy looking at them, and finding out that he is the one that had sent the curse there, and also being disappointed that he didn't get to see Rika. Gojo then figures out that this guy was involved, Sugiru Geto, who's a special grade jujitsu sorcerer, and who is banished from jujitsu high, since he had cursed hundreds of people to death. The scene then cuts to him, as we see him helping a woman who was cursed. But then we figure out that he is the one that had put the curse on her, as some rich creep paid him to do so, but since the guy hadn't paid him anything for the past six months, he takes the curse away and kills him. We are also introduced to his team consisting of Manami Suda, Tashihisa Negi, Mimiko Asaba, Laru, Nanako Asaba, and Miguel. They infiltrate the school, and Ghetto tries to convince Yoda to join him. Gojo appears along with the other teachers, and Ghetto's influence on Yoda fails when he starts offending Yoda's friends, and telling him that he wants to create a world with only sorcerers, and kill all the non-sorcerers. Gojo asks why he came here, and he explains that he declares war, and that he will start a full-out attack around Tokyo. After this, we see Gojo in a classroom as he is remembering his past with Ghetto, when they used to be best friends. After this we see Ghetto explaining his plan to his team, which is to kill Yoda and take Rika. Which will guarantee their victory in this war. Then we see Yoda in his class, as Maki comes in. She then explains why Ghetto called her a failure. She says that her family is the Zenin clan, which is one of the three major families of jujitsu sorcerers. But the problem was, that she doesn't have curse energy, and can't use it, so her family discriminated her. He then asks why she decided to be a sorceress. And she replies by saying she wants to prove them wrong and take revenge. Yoda is impressed by her strength and says he wants to be just like her, which makes her blush, as she starts leaving to her room. We then see Ghetto outside the school, creating a veil around it, as the attack on the city starts. Gojo figures out his plan, and sends Panda and Kiyotaka to the school. Ghetto had taken down Maki, as Panda reaches him and starts fighting. Kiyotaka reaches them and he manages to use his powers to take Ghetto down. But as they go to check on Maki, Ghetto attacks them both. Yoda manages to reach the place but is too late as all of them had been defeated. He calls Rika, and starts fighting, while Rika takes the others. He uses some of his curse energy to heal them, as Rika gets jealous of Maki, but is soon calmed down, when she sees that Yoda gets angry at her. They then start fighting Ghetto again, who starts attacking them, but Yoda creates a megaphone with the speech curse just like Kiyotaka's, which he uses to destroy the small curses. Amazing Ghetto and making him want Rika even more. We then go to the city as we see the sorcerers fighting against some curses and Ghetto's team. We go back to Ghetto and Yuta fighting. Ghetto unable to defeat Yuta in combat decides to combine all of his curses to attack him with it. As Yuta has no way out, he offers himself to Rika to release her full potential, as he gives her a kiss. They both release their attacks. And Yuta manages to win, as we see Ghetto wounded but had managed to get away. Gojo finds him, and Ghetto gives him Yuta's ID card, as they have a small talk, and then Gojo says something to him, as the scene cuts to Yuta being woken up by his team. Rika appears, but then turns into her human body, surprising everyone. Gojo also appears, and he starts congratulating Yuta for breaking the curse, and then explains that after investigating both of their family backgrounds, he discovered that Yuta's was far less clear than Rika's. This led him to investigate further, and he eventually revealed that Yuta is a descendant of Sugawara Michizane, meaning he's part of a jujitsu sorcerer's family, and Gojo's distant relative. 
meaning he is the one that had put the curse on Rika. Rika thanks Yuta, and then the movie ends. Hope you all enjoyed this recap, make sure to leave a like, comment on what you think about it, and don't forget to subscribe, so I can make more recaps of movies, TV shows, animes, etc. See you all, on the next video.